All right, boys. So I thought for today we'd go ahead and just talk a bit about Godot on OpenBSD because I've just recently started checking it out. And honestly, I have mixed feelings on Godot. Um, for one, it's not an engine that I've really worked with. I've, I've worked with Unity and Unreal for years uh, on and off. Primarily, mostly with Unity and C Sharp. Um, I'm, I'm pretty well rounded in using that. Godot, I never really got big into. Um, I've played around with it before. It's a very cool engine. It's extremely lightweight. And as far as I can tell, it is the only full fledged game engine that you're going to get on OpenBSD. Now, with that being said, Godot is a very capable, very small engine. If you've ever installed something like Unity or Unreal, you'll know those... <clears throat> Good lord, alright, voice crack, yeah, awesome. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Godot is like 40 megabytes in size. M maybe, maybe with like the latest updates, it comes around like 45, 50 megabytes, like maybe. Um, but if you've ever downloaded something like Unity or un especially Unreal, Unreal is fucking massive. It, I mean, it's like, I think, I think the engine's like 13 gigs and, that, and that's a, that's a, that's a very reserved estimate. It's massive. The Unity engine's gigabytes in size. It's, they're just big projects. Godot, by comparison, is fucking tiny. But it's still pretty capable. So let's go into the global illumination project here and show you how this looks. Let's open it on up. And I've got to be honest, the thing about Godot that really holds it back, at least in my opinion, is the graphics performance. So I'm moving around the project here. If you're seeing any stuttering in the video um, and me moving around here in the engine, that is not just the recording. That's how I'm seeing it, okay? It's, it, I mean, it looks great. The engine looks great. It just, the performance with 3D in Godot, I have always, always, always had a lackluster experience with. Now this is inside the engine and you might be like, well, if you were to export it out, it would perform better. I have, and it doesn't. Um, it's still not great. Um, yeah. Now, granted, I'm recording here, so no matter what, the performance is not going to be the best because, well, I'm recording. But you can see it works. Like, the engine works. It's just very not performant, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's, it's a little lackluster. And quite frankly... That's just something about Godot. It just it just suffers from. It's an engine that, really, in all honesty, when it comes to 3D, has a lot of work before it's really performant. And it's it's not bad. It's not bad. I think with some tweaks and stuff, it could be pretty performant. Like it's. I mean, we're going through here. It's not. It's not like it's terrible. And it looks good. Now we could change around. Like I could switch the GI modes and go to uh, like a baked indirect light map. This is more average. And then we could go to something like a GI probe. Now this is going to be super laggy. Which makes sense. But with, with that being said, it not being that performant. Look, it's a small engine. And it's, it's not really mainly meant for 3D games. Like, yes, you can definitely use it for that 100%. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. You could definitely make some really gorgeous 3D games with Godot. But it's 
primarily targeted at a 2D audience. So they take that at, with, I don't know, take that however you want. But on OpenBSD, Godot has another big problem that I was very nervous about. So Godot does not actually support exporting for OpenBSD. It doesn't. We can only export for Android, iOS, HTML5, Mac OS X, UWP, Windows Desktop, and Linux and X11. And if we get a, a Linux executable, I mean, we can technically launch the project, but we have to use Godot. Godot needs to be installed on the OpenBSD system for you to open and run the executable because you can't actually export it for OpenBSD. Which is not a massive problem, but also one that I was I was worried about. I was really hoping that OpenBSD's port of Godot would support OpenBSD as a build platform does not. I mean, I just kind of wish it was. That would be nice. But I'm I'm really sad that the only game engine here, it does not seem like it would be a good platform for for making a game on on OpenBSD. It just doesn't seem all that performant doesn't seem I mean I can't even build for OpenBSD uh, I mean I can have it work I can have the executable work on OpenBSD but it requires the engine so it you know I might as well not even be able to build the project for open because like, I can't I can't build it for OpenBSD I can only build it for Linux or Windows, which is a sad day. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be messing around with Godot here on OpenBSD, which is sad days. I was kind of looking forward to getting back into some game dev and uh, checking it out. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't checked out Godot, I would highly recommend you at least check it out Um especially if you want to do like some simple 2d games and stuff, it's a fantastic free engine and it is pretty freaking capable. Now, if you want to do a massive, you know, 3d map with gorgeous baked or not, not even baked, just gorgeous lights and, and plentiful lights, whole bunch of, you know, just really nice 3d features. You probably are going to want to go with another game engine. But that being said, I know a lot of people have have simple wants with games, you know, and making something 2D like a tower defense game so, or so, something to make, you know, just to play with your friends here and there. Godot is probably a good option for you. Sadly, though, I think I think I'm going to continue on learning Rust just for the sole purpose so I can try and develop games outside of a game engine. So if you're somebody who's been watching my channel for a while and you like the Rust series, which by the way, I do have a series for that. I'll try and remember to throw up a card. Um, yeah, go check that out because I, I'm going to be continuing that. And yeah, uh, th thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you have been interested. Like maybe I've caught somebody who's I've been interested in OpenBSD, who's also interested in a little bit of game development. And uh, hopefully this was at least enlightening and informative on whether or not game development with Godot is right for you on OpenBSD. Because um, again, you, you, you can tell the performance on a 3D project is not great here on OpenBSD. I'm not saying this performance is indicative of it on some other platform. This is just how, is how it is here on OpenBSD. Now, 
Before I go, I do want to go ahead and thank my fantastic patrons that are up here on the screen. These people financially support the channel. I, I cannot thank these people enough. Thank you guys for your support. It means the world. And for everyone else, thank you for supporting the channel through liking, subscribing, and uh, leaving comments and telling me how you feel or what I got wrong, you know, just in general, having a good conversation, possibly some constructive criticism down in the comments. Thank you guys. It, it genuinely does mean a lot. So if you want to get and talk with us, if you want to join the people over on Patreon, all those links will be down in the description. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for being here. And I hope to catch you in one of the Rust live streams if you're interested. So look out for those. I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.